टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेबरहुड सो वी विल इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट नेबरहुड यूनिट नेबरहुड कंसेप्ट एंड इट्स इम्प्लीकेशन इन अर्बन प्लानिंग द नेबरहुड यूनिट प्लान इज इन ब्रीफ द इफोर्ट टू क्रिएट ए रेसिडेंशियल नेबरहुड टू मीट द नीड्स ऑफ ए फैमिली लाइफ इन ए यूनिट रिलेटेड टू द लार्जर होल बट possessing a distinct entity characteristics which can be identified by a child need not cross traffic street on the way to a school a centrally located elementary school which will be within easy walking distance no more than 1 and 1/2 mile from the farthest dwelling unit a housewife can walk to shopping center to obtain daily household gifts convenient transportation to and from the workplace scatter neighborhood park and playground to comprise about 10% of the whole area a residential environment with harmonious architecture careful planting centrally located community buildings and a special internal street system with deflection of all through traffic preferably on through fair which bond and clearly set of neighborhood the neighborhood concept is arguably one of the major planning landmarks that shaped the urban form of the 20th century cities in many countries coincidentally both the neighborhood idea of the clarence steen and henry wright exemplified in their plan for redburn and the neighborhood unit idea of Clarence Perry we are published in 1929 the urban design principles of Steen and Wright included the idea of super block of residential unit grouped around a central green the separation of vehicles and pedestrian and road hierarchy with cul-de-sacs for local access road a cluster of super blocks was to form a self contained neighborhood a group of neighborhood would then compromise the city for peri the physical arrangement of the elementary school a small park and playground local shops was the basis of his neighborhood idea each neighborhood was to be a unit of a city so here we can see the example of the redburn model which was done by clarence stein and henry wright the design of the redburn neighborhood model was in essence a hierarchical one comprising four ways enclave which means residential area block super block and neighborhood enclave the fundamental component was an enclave of 20 or so houses these houses were arranged in a u formed around a short vehicular street called a lane really a cul-de-sac while the back of each house faced their court the front of the house had a garden block three or more of these enclaves were lined together to form a block enclaves within the block were separated from one another by a pedestrian pathway that ran between the front garden of all the houses the blocks usually four in number were arranged around the sides of the central parkway in such a manner so as to enhance the open green space then there were super blocks the cluster of five blocks together with the central park comprised what is ten and right termed a super block four to six super blocks commonly formed a neighborhood that was bounded by major road or natural features at one end of the parkway there could be a small school with community rooms roads in the neighborhood were to be hierarchical 
मेजर थ्रू ट्रैफिक रोड्स टू द बॉर्डर इच नेबरहुड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर रोड टू द सराउंडिंग इच सुपर ब्लॉक्स एंड कल्डी सेक्स टू प्रोवाइड एक्सेस टू इंडिविजुअल प्रॉपर्टी लॉट्स Stain emphasized that the prime goal was to design a town for the automobile age. In fact, the title of the drawing of the town plan was a town for the motor age. This was done in 1928. Although Stain and Wrights considered neighborhoods as each. Being relatively self-contained, they arranged them in an overlapping manner to support joint use of facilities such as hospitals, high schools, and theaters. They visualized the neighborhood as forming the superblock of the city, whereas previously the lots and the city were the basis of town design. so from the neighborhood study we can see that to their minds there should be a three level hierarchy consisting of neighborhood town and region they believed that future urban development should be based on the regional city a constellation of smaller sized towns tied together by park bay or open highway we will discuss neighborhood unit principle size a residential unit development should provide housing for that population for which one elementary school is ordinarily required its actual area depending upon the population density boundaries the unit should be bounded on all side by artillery streets sufficiently wide to facilitate its bypassing by all through traffic open spaces a system of small parks and recreational space should be provided planned to meet the need of a particular neighborhood institutional sites site for the school and other institutions having services spheres coinciding with the limit of the unit should be suitably grouped about a central point or common area internal street system The unit should be provided with a special street system, each highway wing proportionate to its pro probable traffic load and the street net as a whole, being designed to facilitate circulation within the unit and to discourage its use by through traffic. To offer a clear picture of the each of these principles, we can see in the drawing, in the plan. local shop or commercial centers one or more shopping district adequate for the population to be served should be laid out in the circumference of the unit preferably a traffic junctions and adjacent to similar district of adjoining neighborhood